Ooh. So I put the uh, two-piece wing together. Get the plug in here. It's not plug and play, so. There we go. And then close the harness. Am I getting it? Oh, there it goes. And that's it. You probably can do a cleaner installation than me, because I kind of rushed this. And all you do is drop the uh, bolts in. We didn't do an introduction, Brian. We didn't. We'll, we'll do we... the introduction when we walk out on the grass. Because I have a major, I have a major announcement to make. Uh oh. Yes. Someone is going to receive a major award for picking the winning name of this glider. Sweet. Yeah. I forgot who he was, but I'll contact him. <laughs> so, let me drop this in here. Plug it in out there. Safety third. Oh, look. look at that. Look at that bling bling. Sprinkles. Yes. Okay. Let's go. Still sweating? A little warm out today. Very warm. I've, I've roasted myself. Two weekends in a row. Let's do the inter introduction. What's going on? Go there. What's going on, everyone? It's Ollie from Flight Comp, and I have the new GCM F5K glider that uh, I did the build videos on, and I've already flown it. Sorry, it's not a maiden flight but I didn't have anyone to video it for me when I did the Maiden. And the major announcement is that there's a winner for the Name the Plane competition. So I would like to announce today that the name of this glider is the Hornet. Uh, seemed like a fitting name. I want to thank everyone that made suggestions. I actually thought that there would just be hundreds of uh, like troll suggestions and like sexual innuendos and people calling me fat or whatever. But everyone actually made really awesome name suggestions and we picked the top 10 and uh, we picked Hornet because we just felt like it picked the glider, I mean it matched the glider. Um, it kind of looks like a Hornet and we're working on a cool little Hornet logo for it which will be painted on each one. So whoever came up with the name Hornet, I'm going to contact you and you win a prize. So please send me your uh, mailing address and all that good stuff. Now I'm going to mail you something. I'm not going to tell you what it is, but it'll be uh, it'll be something. So anyway, thanks a lot for the name and uh, let's fly this thing. So let me plug it in. Turn the radio on. I thought you were filming my ear for a minute. I almost did. <laughs> Uh, let's make sure all the switches are where they need to be. I definitely need to do a better do uh, job with... Why can't I speak today, man? It's, it's need, the sun. It's the sun, yes. I need to do a better job with the equipment installation. 
But I was in a rush, so. Okay, put the amazing gold glitter canopy back on. Um, the V-tails are super sensitive, so not a lot of throw is needed. Um, it is a Fireblade wing, so I've sort of put what I remember from the old Fireblade that I flew, the settings in here. Um, it's about 10 millimeters up and down aileron, no differential. Um, I got a 2 millimeter camber setting and a 5 millimeter with snap flap. And there's reflex, about 2 millimeters of reflex for speed. Um, here's the landing flaps. And the CG, um, I forget, but I'll put it, I'll edit the picture of this on the CG machine <clears throat> into the video. And uh, with this 3S 300 milliamp battery, it balanced perfectly to the recommended CG. And um, I think it flies good, it flies uh, really good there, but we'll, we'll do more flying today. And I just realized I forgot to tape the wings together. So. What the hell are we gonna do? Just All right. fly it. <laughs> I don't know. We, we better get tape. Yeah, we better get tape. Okay, just cut the camera, Brian. I don't. Don't forget your tape. It's like freaking <laughs> amateur hour over here, man. I'm supposed to be some kind of professional or something. Well. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's go. A lot of down trim in it from uh, my first flights because it was really windy. I didn't do it in the wind. Pretty good. It, it penetrated really well. It weighs 260 grams, so it's slightly heavy, I guess. This plane is very, very, it's very touchy. I have uh, about 10 millimeters in the ailerons up and down, and it's pretty touchy. So what do you think is different about flying a V-tail versus the standard T-tail or cross-tail? Mm. Setup is harder. And I think if you get the setup wrong, it's going to be less forgiving. You know, you can't get away with a, a bad setup with a V-tail.
<laughs> it's hard to find on the view screen. Yeah. <laughs> the silhouette of this is very stealthy. I like it a lot. Let me see if I have... Man, that guy's motor setup is scary. Okay, I do have dual rate set up, so... Try it on dual rate. That's cool. That thing's pretty neat. Camera guy got distracted. <laughs> That's okay. That's a cool looking airplane. Okay, I'm gonna buzz it around a little bit under power. You ready? Yeah. It's like a little pylon racer. Need to set my brake harder. I don't really know what the battery consumption is like, so we should probably get another battery, huh? Yeah. Fresh battery, did we make any adjustments? No. I, oh, I moved the CG, I moved the battery back further as much as I could go. To me, it feels like it's still slightly nose heavy. It definitely, feel, I can feel the weight compared to my uh, F3K plane. But. Tossed around here. Yeah, 
Yeah, it's getting a little breezy. It is. There's definitely some air here, but it just doesn't want me inside of it. I do feel like I'm missing something. Like, something's not quite right. Can't really put my finger on it. But I do like it. I think that the differential with the camber is not right. When I put camber in, it, it uh, the ailerons get real get real mushy. So I have to look at what kind of differential I have when I put camber in. My surf my uh, ailerons might be going down way too far when I give aileron input in. Could be it. I'm getting a little draggy. Yeah. Kind of hard to see. When it gets a certain, uh, like when you're flying right. Uh, straight towards yourself low, it kind of disappears. Yeah, I think I'm probably just shooting blue sky right now. I don't know. I'm just getting that feeling like something's not quite right. So a little bit more R&D. Yeah, I think I need to get it back on the bench and go over all my throws and see where the CG is. Something's just—it's not giving me that old Fireblade wing love that I used to like so much. Hmm. Well, we'll tweak on it, and uh, what do you think? We'll tweak on it for a couple weeks or something, and then do a part two or something, and yeah. see if we have made any improvements. But um, I like it so far. It's kind of sporty. It's kind of, uh, I don't know, it's kind of a warm liner almost. It's, it's almost more fun under power than it is gliding. But um, 
yeah, we'll make some uh, adjustments and see what we can do. Get it flying a little better, hopefully. And uh, once again, thanks to the dude that uh, gave us the awesome name, Hornet. And hope you guys like this video, and we will see you in the next one.